let's get some definitions straight. Altcoins, tokens, bitcoins, cryptocurrencies. In general, cryptocurrencies are just digital currencies. Just like your bank money, only bank money is secured in the ledger of the bank. Cryptocurrencies are encrypted via cryptography. And as you know, in Bitcoin's case, that would be, for example, the proof of work algorithm. Other blockchains use other forms of encryption. So cryptocurrencies are just digital currencies that are encrypted via cryptography. And this is where it gets complicated because a currency in the digital realm is, uh, makes that very visible can entice many different things. It can be different things. So different forms of value can be transferred, but still makes it a currency. So money can take many different forms. But if people read currency, they automatically think money and money in the general form of money. So it's a misnomer in this case. Digital currencies or cryptocurrencies are indeed cryptocurrencies, but in general, it's more used than uh, for other forms than just currencies. So, a total recap, cryptocurrencies can be split in general, depends on who you ask. So there's not one definition of what a token is or what an altcoin is. But in general, the, the most, most general definitions, let me rephrase it like that, is that we've got Bitcoin and we've got all the rest. So we've got Bitcoin and the altcoins. And later on, like the alternative coins, later on, the altcoins split in the altcoins and tokens. So a further uh, separation or integration of these two main categories. So we've can, we can split cryptocurrencies in Bitcoin and altcoins, and the altcoins we can split in altcoins, which are a cryptocurrency with their own blockchain. So Ether on Ethereum, for example, and tokens. So tokens that are built upon a blockchain. So they don't have their own blockchain. So where Ether is integrated in Ethereum, for example, Omega Go would be a token that is built upon uh, Ethereum. So tokens don't run their own blockchain. They are incentivizing users of that particular smart contract. But altcoins are incentivizing users, but also miners and nodes, etc., to incorporate or contribute regarding the blockchain layer. So this would be in the blockchain layer, this would be in the application layer. And in general, we've got the, the king of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, in an entirely different category. That, of course, depends on who you ask, but this is pretty much it. <laughs>